Today's incident will wake up your soul. Please watch the incident till the end. On the day of Eid, an orphan child and his heart became a snake. Come, let us tell you a very interesting and instructive incident. You must not have heard this incident till today. Therefore, to add to the happiness of Eid, it is necessary to listen to this incident. There was a village which had all the blessings of Allah. There was never any sorrow in the life of the people there. The special thing about the villagers was that whenever any religious festival came, they all used to celebrate together. There was an old man who used to teach them all this and used to preach goodness. One day, that old man died. There, a man took his place who had no understanding of religion. He was very short-tempered and had no dearth of money. Therefore, everyone considered him their elder. Whatever he said, people were forced to do it. He was running everything according to his will. This year when Idol Aja came, as always, there was happiness on everyone's faces. Because yesterday was the day of Eid, as per tradition, everyone gathered around the person who had placed his chair under a tree. The people of the village first of all saluted him and wished him Eid Mubarak. The man said, for the last many years you have been listening to the words of that Almighty and have been walking on the path shown by him. But from now on, everything will change in my rule. As you all sacrifice after the Eid Namaz, now nothing like this will happen because now all your animals and money will be given to me because I am the one who helps the people living here. I am more entitled to this wealth of yours. One man said, excuse me, the one who deserves this are those people whose pockets are empty, who do not have even a single thing, who are poor, who are missing, who are misers, who remain hungry. You are the richest person in this place. He got very angry. How did he open his mouth in front of me? He said, catch him and hang him from the tree. After this, his servants came forward and caught the man and hung him. He died and people got scared. He started to back off and said, see, he had only spoken in front of me and this is the end of it. Then what will I do to the one who will oppose me and will have enmity with me? I will not hang him but throw the pieces of the dead body in the river and along with this one who speaks, his family will also be crushed. Therefore, if life is dear to you, then do whatever I say. Take care that when you sacrifice, no poor person should get meat from it. Rather, you should bring all the animals to me and slaughter them, those people wanted their lives. So, no one insisted on him, they went back to their homes. Some men did not like this, but their women said to the men, you have gone mad, why don't you speak in front of him? Hey, the one to whom you have given your animals, he is sitting with the treasure of law. Their men said, if we do this, then he will be kind to us. We have to save our lives. They became quiet. The women silenced them. The day of Eid came. Everyone was wearing new clothes, but there was no one there to care about the poor. That man was roaming around wearing the most expensive clothes. His people were giving their animals to him. People were giving all their animals to him and thinking that their sacrifice had been accepted and that man was very happy after filling his farm with animals. He had taken the poor under his control. That day, everyone was eating good food, but there was no one to care about the poor. Among those poor, there was also an orphan child. Earlier, every person used to take care of that child, but when the order of that tyrant was revealed, everyone turned their eyes away from him. On the day of Adul Aja, when the whole village was wearing new clothes, wishing each other and eating food happily, he started thinking, is there no one left in this world? He was feeling hungry, but to whom could he go? There was no one to feed him. He sat down sadly under a tree. Maybe someone's heart will soften for him, but no one was looking at him. While sitting under that tree, suddenly he saw a child. Someone started hitting his chin. He sat up in a hurry. The same man was there, he said, what are you doing in my place? You have defiled this place of mine. I deliver justice here. That child started saying to that cruel man, I felt sleepy, so I went to sleep. I'm very hungry. Can I get something to eat? The man said, How much status do you have? You are a poor man, a worm crawling on the ground. You are poor, and the poor are just a burden on the earth. I have heard that you don't have anyone of your own here. The child said, Yes, I don't have anyone of my own. My mother is dead, and so is my father. Earlier, the villagers used to worry about me and never let me feel the absence of my parents. But now, no one takes care of me. Today, all the children are playing, jumping around and wearing colorful clothes. They are happy. But even on the day of Eid, no one is going to make me wear a new suit and feed me meat. 
That cruel man started laughing loudly and said, Do you have the status to eat meat? He gathered people around him and said, Look at this, this orphan boy tells him that he wants to eat meat, he wants to wear new clothes. People were convinced by his words. So everyone started making fun of him and said, You have no one here, so who will feed you? Later he said, You are right. He has no work in the colony, throw him out of here. He said, I don't ask anything from you people, this is my village, don't throw me out of here. Where will I go, you cruel man? The man said, You can go anywhere, but you have spoiled my mind today. I forgot to eat meat because of your useless talks. He called for his chair, and sitting on it, he started eating the liver of Eid Day. At the same time, while eating the tasty cooked liver, he was teasing that child and tormenting him with hunger. Then he said, Oh people, throw him out of here. The words of that cruel man were accepted, and he was thrown out of the village. He went far away and was crying and sobbing and was saying, Don't do this to me. I fold my hands in front of you people, and no one listened to him. He was shedding tears. He started from there cursing his fate. Ahead came a big forest. He was a small child and was scared too, but the one who has no one has God. Now he was convinced of this. I have to travel alone. No one will come to help me thinking this, he came to the forest. His heart was trembling to see the big trees, but what could he do? His stomach started aching due to hunger, and he sat under a tree and started crying. At that very moment, a voice came from there. Son, what happened to you? Why are you crying that too on the day of Eid? He raised his head and saw a shining face. He was an old man wearing a very beautiful dress. He said, you are so sad today, why are you grieving? The child said, My father is not in this world. I used to consider the villagers as my own, but those people also threw me out of my village today. My stomach is empty and I am very unlucky. I wish I also died with my mother, Allah said no son. I do not ask for such prayers nor do I wish for such things. If Allah has given you life, then pray to spend this life in goodness and do not take out someone's anger on others. He said, Who are you? I have never seen you before. Allah said, I am your sympathizer. I am I am your friend and I cannot see your tears. I was passing through the forest and saw a cute child crying who cries on the day of Ed. The child said what should I do? I have been driven out of my village. Allah said, okay let's go. Let's ask your villagers why did you do this? The child got scared. No, I will not go. That monster will harm you too and you seem to be an Allah person. I have been taught this much that one should respect elders and that person does not respect anyone. He is a very rude person. Then the Allah person said smiling, he said, okay, let's go and celebrate Eid. But that child said, my clothes are old. Eid is celebrated wearing new clothes and my clothes are getting very dirty. Allah Wala said, it's okay, son. It's not your fault. Then that child hugged Allah Wale and he felt some peace. And it was as if there was no fear in his heart, as if his tears had also stopped. Allah Wale said, come, let's go to your village now because all the fear was gone. That child said, yes, let's go. He came to his village holding Allah Wail's hand where a fair was going on. Children old and young all were enjoying Eid. Some were swinging, some were eating sweets and some were playing. No one was sad about it. Not only this, Allah Wali looked at them all with regret. These people are so engrossed in their world that they don't know that an orphan's heart is broken. How can we be so insensitive? We claim to be Muslims, that we believe in God, and yet we are so cruel to the creatures created by him. You commit atrocities. You commit so much injustice. Now you came to the village with the child and sat on the chair kept under the same tree. That child was standing with you. A person from there saw the old man sitting on the chair. That person came running to Allah Wail and said, Oh old man who are you? This is the chair of our master. No one sits here except him. How dare you? Allah Wail said, Why is the name written on it? Yes, the name is written. No man in this village dares to sit here and you sat here without permission. Allah Wali said, don't you get up, what will you do? I will call my master. Yes, call him. I will see how powerful your master is. That man said this old man had gone crazy. Old man, I will call him now. He ran away, called the master and brought him. Master, see who is this who has come to compete with you. It seems he wants to snatch your chair. That cruel man came to Allah Wail with great pride and took you with such pride. Seeing him sitting there, he became very angry while there was no fear and terror on the face of Alawali. The child was standing with him. When he reached there, he saw the child and said, You have come here again and who is this? Whom have you brought with you? 
Have you made a new father? The child did not reply. He said to the man, Take this boy from here. Allah Wale said, Be careful. Calm down, you don't talk to a child like this. No one has taught you how to talk to someone. Why are you people treating him like this? What harm has this innocent child done to you? He said, This is being done because he is poor and an orphan, and the people here hate him. Allah Wale said, You people are strange people. Because he is an orphan, you should have a good attitude with him, and you are treating him like an animal. That too, on a day when people hug each other, share sorrows and happiness, and cleanse their hearts. There is another gift. It is given to the one who does not have anything. And the people of Allah said, O oh my servant, what a wrong education you have, who taught you these wrong things. He said, I have learnt and taught myself. I am my teacher. There is no one to teach me, and who will have more reach than me here? The people of Allah said, You do not know the religion of Islam at all. Rather you are following the path of devilry. Don't be so proud, Kabir. You are like a beggar. Like those beggars whose pockets are full and they are begging in front of people. Whereas these are the poor people who do not have anything. Still. We are asking Allah, not you, how hungry that child was. But you people did not even ask him for food. If you are so knowledgeable, then don't you know how much compassion our Prophet has shown towards orphans and how much good he has done for the poor? On the day of Eid, you should ask about their condition and not throw them out of your colony, especially this child who does not have the support of his parents. And what kind of knowledge do you have due to which you are not showing mercy? Education is that which creates wisdom in a person, and Islam is so lovely. It is a religion in which people love each other, sympathize, and treat each other with brotherhood. But you are so cruel that you have taken these people with you. Fairs are being held here, meat is being roasted, liver is being eaten, but no one asked that child who has not eaten food for two days. O oh people, will you keep your children hungry like this? If your child is hungry for two days and has not eaten anything, will you not suffer? Despite you people, this child is saying that I am so unlucky I should have died with my mother. This is what happens to a helpless person. You all have also gone astray by listening to ignorant things. Your elder used to teach you because of whom you used to treat each other with love and affection. It is because of people like you that Islam has been disgraced. That man said, O oh elder, don't come here and say such things. This is my place, my village, my rule prevails here. Get out of here. The one who is Allah said, What are you adamant about, your money or the plate of liver that you have woven in your hands? Allah said, You do not believe in Allah. You people know who Allah is. Do you know about the power of Allah? While you pray for Allah, read the Quran and give charity. But still, you're still doing evil out of fear of a human being. You are not raising your voice for the oppressor then which God do you believe in when you do not believe in God? A true believer is only he who has faith in Allah, then no matter how much cruelty someone does, he will still call upon his Lord, and supporting someone is the greatest good deed. Did you not feel that he had issued the wrong order? Was the meat of the sacrifice not meant for the poor, it was just to fill the stomach of this rich man? What lesson was he teaching? You people have forgotten your religion, you don't know what our religion teaches us. In our religion mercy is shown to the poor, you have ruined the day of the teachings of your prophet, but go and take this boy with you. Allah said, there is no Eid for people like you, Eid is really for the one who understands the day of Eid. You are talking too much that Seth said, people catch him and tie him to this tree. When the days of Eid will pass, then we will see what decision he has to make about this. Right now I'm feeling very hungry, and sitting in front of this child I will eat the tasty liver of Allah. And that child was caught and tied to that tree with ropes. Allah was looking at that child who was helpless, and was thinking that because of me, these Allah people also fell into his hands. Rather, Allah made him quiet and consoled him, nothing happens son, to the one who has God with him, he will not have to face any harm from humans. There is no need for Allah, the greatest. When Allah leaves you, then you have no one. They tied Allah to a tree. That man called for his chair and sat in front of Allah. He was about to eat the knitted liver. 
his knitted liver turned into a snake. He quickly threw the plate on the ground. He thought that it was his illusion. Then it was not so. Snakes were ringing on the ground and there were so many of them that no one could even catch them. Now their happiness turned into panic and everyone started running here and there. Children, old and young, were also trying to save their lives. And that man who was just threatening everyone and who was speaking with great arrogance, now even he started sweating. He looked at Allah as if he was calling for help. He said, O oh, old man, I accept that you are a great agent and at your behest this liver has turned into a snake. But tell them that if they leave from here, I will open the mouth of all the treasures towards you. Allah did not give any answer. And looking at this child, he said, Did you see what happens to those who take on Allah? The child said, Will this snake eat this person? The one who is Allah said, If it is Allah's command, then this will also happen. You just keep watching the power of Allah. He said, Yes, I want to see. You called out, O snake, you know Allah, you believe in Allah, Allah created you. This human being, even though being an ashra full of creatures, is his devotee. You tell me how great is your Lord. You tell this man who is beating the drum of Islam, is saying that sacrificial meat is not given to the poor, how many calamities are befallen by not giving meat to the poor on the day of Eid, and since he has stopped giving sacrificial meat to the poor, especially the gift of Eid al Azaz, doomsday is bound to fall on them. If he believes in Islam so much, then why doesn't he know that sacrificial meat is given to the poor? No rich person's stomach can be filled. The snake listened to the words of the one who was Allah, as if he was understanding. Ho! Then he became very big, as big as a mountain, and bent towards that man and said, Have you heard what the people of Allah say? What they said is true. The worst thing you did is the one that will take you to hell. And that is that you did not put your hand on the head of this orphan. You treated this orphan very badly. Then you told all these people not to purify their wealth. That is, do not sacrifice your wealth and do not help the poor. Giving to the poor brings a lot. Feeding a hungry person has such a great reward that a wicked person like you will not understand this, and everyone knows I. How am I? But you are a snake in human form, a very savage beast. You have spoiled everyone's hearts. You have destroyed faith. And how are you celebrating Eid by hurting the heart of this child? Remember, happiness increases by sharing. The snake asked the man of Allah, should I eat him? And the rest of the people I will do the same to him as I would do to him. And that cruel man was shivering. He had lost his senses. He folded his hands and said, O oh Allah, please spare me just this once and tell this snake to let me go. I will never be arrogant. I will never commit any injustice. I will make this child my son. I will make his Eid more special. Now he will not have to face any sorrow. Just tell the snake once that it should not eat me. I truly repent. May Allah forgive me. He started crying. Allah saw that he was shedding tears and said to the snake, You go. Your work is done. Thank you. On Allah's saying that the snake disappeared from there, all the snakes who had created a ruckus had all left from there. Now everyone was looking inside themselves, and Allah was made to sit on the same chair with great respect. That man told Allah, he said, Tell me what is your order for me. Allah said, Keep the promise you have made, and go and prepare this child. After this, a beautiful Eid dress was brought for the child, and a plate of knitted liver was given to him. Allah was also fed food and everyone said that we would fulfill the promise we were making. This is my son, and I will teach the right Islam to these people, but this noble man is not ready to do anything. I need your support for the work, so stay here and tell us what Islam says. Otherwise we will keep wandering and will keep making Islam according to our own will. And will keep understanding Hadith according to our own will. And will keep telling verses of the Quran to people, but will not be able to understand them ourselves and will not be able to show people the true path. Allah said, Just clean your heart, do not lie, walk on the path of truth, do not support oppression, stand firmly against oppression and fear. Allah, do not fear anyone except Him, then your path will become easy automatically, Quran will also be understood, and Hadith too. Allah celebrated aid with them, and gave a smile to that child, and then left for his destination. Dear friends, how did you like this beautiful incident of today? Please express your valuable opinion in the comment box and before leaving, please like this video and to get more such videos, please be a part of our family by subscribing to our channel. Please be a part. Thank you.